So, and also sometimes when you're on stage, you find yourself in, uh, you know, I got to make a decision now and I might say something that maybe the audience isn't ready for. So I know we were kind of previously talking before the show, but I know you have something about when you were on stage the day John F. Kennedy died. Oh, 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 that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I came out. So one of the improv things that we did was we did an on the spot. It was called Man in the Street. So it was an on the spot thing where we got. Uh, actual suggestions from the audience, which the mainly the whole show is about that, you know, but we do people scenes. But for the man in the street scene, we would take specifically uh, not not characters, but headlines. That, that That's so it became a uh, a daily thing. You know, it changed from day to day as the as the, the headlines changed. So I came out now. Kennedy had been shot. I think it was the day before. And um Oh, I, I now okay. Now it comes comes clear to me. I'm reading a book right now on on how to write a memoir because basically my book is a memoir. So I, I wrote a memoir. Now I'm looking. I'm now I'm reading how to write one. <laughs> We've already, already done it. It's uh -huh. out. But now I'm you know because I want to write another one. So it it's it says uh, everything in the book was not what we were doing because we didn't know about. It. Uh, so what I would do is I'd come out on the stage and I'd say, uh, you know, it's me, it's Larry, and I'd say, you know, give us a headline. And Kennedy had been shot, assassinated, murdered two days before. I remember now clearly. It was two days before. So that night we closed because everything closed. Everything stopped that day. Uh, it was like time stood uh, still. Okay, so no show that night. The next night, we thought, no, let's not do a show just because still people are not over the shock. I mean, and, we were, and we're definitely uh, jump in here. We're at a different time now where the last 20 years, I don't think people will have the country wouldn't right. care. President, right. this, this is when we cared about our presidents to, to do a T like it was, this was world. This is tragic to all of us. The president of the United States has been right. assassinated and now you're that on stage. Big deal. Now, nothing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting ready for this right. story. I never realized it, but you're you're right. That's right. Today, if the president got shot, yeah. Oh wow, my God. Uh, you know, what time are you going to dinner? Yeah, yeah. Go, give cool. me my coffee. I'm I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. So, but go on. So yeah, yeah. yeah so we were in San Francisco, and, and the United States was in a, in a state of shock. So we closed down for two nights: the day of, and the next night. So now the, th the third night, we opened up, and we still had a crowd. He thought maybe nobody would even come. That's how shocked the, the United States was. But we opened up, and we had a fairly good crowd. I guess people came to forget, you know, let's go to a movie or just get it out of our heads. Let's go laugh. So we had a pretty good crowd. And I come out on stage. Now we're going to take headlines. And it was only that we did this every night. And I came out, and I said, okay, man on the street. Well, give us a headline. And and now the audience was, you know, say, give us a character, give us a place. So that's how we did our show. And they were yelling up stuff. Okay, so now I come out and I say, now, no characters, no places. Give us a contemporary headline in the news today. Or, you know, contemporary headline. And nobody said anything. The audience is shut up, man. Which blew my mind. I'm on the stage all alone. Everybody's backstage listening, you know, to what the headline is going to be so they can get their juices going. And they hear silence. So I, because it's improv, man, and I have instructions <laughs> that I can say anything I want. We all can. I mean, you know, you don't think on stage. If you're thinking on stage, you're dead. Yep. It ain't going to be funny. You have to go on instinct and your teaching about no arguments. Listen, listen to what, okay. So I'm listening and nothing. So I, I start to rant at the audience. I mean, seriously, it, it was not a put on, or I wasn't trying to get jokes. I just got angry at them for being stupid and hesitant. 
You know, so I said, what's the matter with you people? And I start yelling at them. You know, I said, what's the matter with you people? Haven't you any, read any newspapers in the last three days? The president got shot two days ago and you don't know any headlines? I mean, I start ranting at them. You know, what's the matter with you people? You came here and you don't know? This is, you know, a contemporary show. We, and everybody froze. So somebody yelled, Pope elopes. <laughs> so now that's generally funny because a lot of people yelled that up throughout our, you know, months and months of being on stage. That was a common ha-ha from the audience. Pope elopes or something else like that. But we wish to get Pope Lopes. So that night, I got Pope Lopes. And I say, Pope Lopes? What about President Got Shot? What about that headline? <laughs> and the audience was like that. And I say, so somebody yelled out something like that. I mean, something safe, but I, I can't remember the rest of it. It all a blur. Okay, so we did the thing. You know, what happens is, you know, I held the screwdriver up, you know, as a microphone. You know, and I go, hey, blah, 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 blah. And then what What the thing is that the people come out, you know, there's five of us. So I'm four. I'm the fifth. So four people come out as characters and they talk about the headline, whether they're for it or against it. So it's very funny. It worked. OK. So they came out. They did the show. And the laughter was kind of. I mean, the audience was still kind of in shock, first of all, about the president being shot. And second of all, about this actor on stage hollering at them for not calling up the truth. For going there, like, too, if you want to say too soon, yeah, that was too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. too yeah. soon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So when I got off the stage, you know, and then the curtain comes down, you know, they got their laughs. I mean, you know, okay, we're professionals. Okay. So the lights come out, go on to the next scene. Everything's fine. The show goes on. They forgot about me. Okay. But when backstage, the, the actors who weren't on stage doing the scene were really shouting at me, man. They just wanted me to be fired. What the fuck did you do, man? You fucked up the show. I mean, you you brought the audience down, man. We had to work our asses off to get them back. Don't you ever do that again. And thank thank God, the director, Alan Meyerson, who is, you know, this was his show, man. Him and his wife built this theater. He came and he says, hey. This is a politically social, this is a political social theater. And Larry was right on. And you people are just, you know, wimps. Yeah. You know, yeah. with the audience. No, they, the audience was wrong, not Larry. And you people are full of shit. I mean, he just like laced into them. I thought it was so cool. 